Hi there, my name is Scott Lowe. I'm a partner and co-founder of Actual Tech Media. I'm joined today by Tim Sheets, Vice President of Corporate Marketing for Falcon Store. Tim, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me, Scott. We're here to talk about software-defined storage, a very nebulous term. <laughs> Can you give us a 30,000 foot overview for what that really means? I, absolutely, you know, there's a lot of definitions and there's no real standard in the industry right now, but for Falcon Store, we're taking a very purist view. We've been software-defined from the beginning, but to Falcon Store, it means to us that the underlying hardware, the storage environment, right, needs to be agnostic to any hardware, network, or protocol. We really need to be able to be heterogeneous, separated from the hardware, so that customers have that flexibility and the freedom. You know, I do a lot of talking around the country, and people have a lot of questions about what does software defined really mean? So they ask questions about what does the hardware need to look like? What does my application then interact with? What does that look like generally in a software defined system? Absolutely, we, you know, really what you need to do is create that abstraction layer that's above the hardware. So it's below the operating system and the application, right? But it's in front of the hardware. It's that true middleware approach, if you will, for the data services so that you're independent. You've got the flexibility and freedom. You can begin to eliminate a cost, drive more flexibility and freedom within your storage infrastructure, right? Because you're abstracted from that hardware. You're no longer dependent. Now, Falcon Store takes an interesting approach with four pillars of services. Can you give us a brief overview of each one of those? Absolutely. In February of this year, we introduced FreeStore. And what we're really doing is we're creating that abstraction layer. We're virtualizing the underlying physical storage so that we can provision, deliver unified data services across your entire infrastructure, and begin to address the four really core use cases that we see customers using today, whether it's data mobility to migrate data, move data, continuity to make sure things are available, protect it, recover it, or certainly optimize it. Sounds good. Why don't we jump into one of the pillars now? Great. So, you know, one of the things that IT is really responsible for that they don't always like is data protection, recovery, disaster recovery, all that good stuff. It's complex. It's expensive. It's very point-based. There's snapshots. There's backup software. There's WAN accelerators to make things faster than the DR site. Help us tame this. How does FreeStore help bring some sanity to this chaos in the data center? Sure. You know, again, people, whether they're trying to, you know, protect or recover a file, a disk, a system, an entire site, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different tools that you have out there and available today. And again, each one's got its management interface, each one's got a license. Are you doing, you know, array-based, you know, hardware-based pieces? Are you doing software-based pieces? What we're trying to do with FreeStore is how do you eliminate all of those silos? How do you now have common capabilities across an entire infrastructure versus array by array, site by site, application by application? With FreeStore, you know, we've, <laughs> we were actually one of the inventors of you know, snapshot uh, software-based snapshots you know, back uh, in, in the early years of, of Falcon Store, and we've taken that same technology. Um, you might have been familiar with our RecoverTrack technology. Mm -hmm. RecoverTrack is you know, one of the, uh, arguably one of the most policy-based uh, automated recovery engines in the market, um, and we're using that technology to help people recover. One of the unique things that we do at, with FreeStore and at Falcon Store is we can protect both physical and virtual with a single platform. We're not you can only protect your virtual with your virtual machines or your, or your virtual software and same thing with physical. We do both. But more importantly, when we recover, you can certainly go take a snapshot. It's instantly mounted and bootable so that you don't have to compile it and go through the typical rigmarole, right? You can get very quickly. So now your recovery time is, is what's a reboot, right? Mm -hmm. You could mount it, grab the single image or the file out of that, whatever you need. You can actually restore an entire image. One of the things with our recovery capability is now you can not only recover from physical to now a different physical, whether that's locally or across sites, you can now convert from physical over to virtual on the fly. Well, Something cloud. very unique. Can you right. go physical to cloud as well? Now, okay, so again, cloud is another container, right? Are you running virtual machines in the cloud? You're on, I was, great, you have to recover from a local site now out to a cloud, you can now do that because we can make those conversions launch the VM in the cloud, and off you go. You know, so if they're running VMware or Hyper-V in the cloud, great, we can recover for you there. Uh, and again, we can also convert from virtual to virtual, so we can change hypervisors for you and do that conversion process during the recovery. Again, the idea is how do you take a lot of the complexity and add the flexibility so that people can adapt to whatever's thrown at them. With FreeStore, we're taking that 15 years of experience that we have in driving these data services and now delivering them here. So, Again, no longer are you having to get that snapshot capability array by array. Mm -hmm. Think about it. It all links together. You want to move from an one array flavor A 
to flavor B. Well, if you're using that hardware-based snapshot or replication on the underlying array, when you move it to a new array, that snapshot's gonna be a different format because it's proprietary to that hardware. We abstract it. We deliver now a common methodology, a common paradigm across the entire infrastructure so you can now have that data mobility. So, you know, while that might be an intuitive piece here, that's why taking this abstraction approach is giving you that flexibility. You can have a common way to protect across the entire infrastructure, yet maintain that data mobility as you go forward. We're not locking you in, and we're not locking you out. You know, the other thing, the key part of this, is if you look at the executive corner is the budget. You're paying for lots of different tools right now. Oh, absolutely. And it sounds like Freestore can help you start to, to rein that in as well. You know, again, it's a, a recurring theme, right? Because we're abstracted, you don't have to pay for that license, that snapshot license on each and every array. In fact, you can buy an array that doesn't maybe have that capability, or if it has it, you don't have to pay for it there, or if you're paying for it, you can stop paying for it there, pay for it once. Now, the beauty with Freestore, everything's included, right? We're not charging you feature by feature, something we should go on to in, in another segment. But what it does allow you to do is now stop paying for it point by point and centralize it. Again, you're lowering your costs, you're reducing your licenses, you're reducing your complexity. So simpler and cheaper is always a good combination. Absolutely. Thank you, Tim, for this overview of Freestore's protection and recovery capabilities. Thanks. Always a pleasure to be here, Scott. And thank you for watching. This is Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media.